I'm showcasing my top five SMG loadouts and Warzone 2 Season 1 Reloaded, which I thought I would just go back through and update this list one more time before the Season 2 update because I'm still constantly getting comments about my top five SMGs and just my favorite loadouts in general. So like I said, I want to run it back and showcase exactly what you should be running in the current meta one more time before the weapon balancing. But first, before I hop into anything, I want to give a huge shout out to Frank, Bradley, and Caleb for having my post notifications on. If you guys want a chance getting my next video, make sure you guys go down below and hit that big red subscribe button, as well as leaving a like and a comment saying notice. Watch the full video through. But like I said, I got you guys with the top five SMG loadouts in the entire game right now. So without further ado, step directly into loading number one. Gun number one and loadout number one for the list is still the Finnick 45 SMG. If you guys haven't played Warzone 2 for yourselves, you guys probably don't understand how dominant the Finnick really is, but it is seriously unmatched. The damage and fire rate it has makes it to where no gun competes up close other than maybe the akimbo pistols. So hopping directly into the build. Attachment number one is the underbarrel. We have the FSS Shark Fin 90. Like I said, with the fire rate it has, it gets a little bouncy. And this is here giving you even more aiming auto stability, just making it ever so slightly more accurate. And then with it being an SMG, you want to be as fast as humanly possible. So I tossed in the VLK LZR 7MW laser, giving you even more aiming stability, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed. Like I said, making you way faster, but also making it more accurate as well. For the stock, mixing in perfectly with the laser, we have the FTAC Loctite stock, giving you even more crouch movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint speed. Again, like I said, speeding you up in every possible way, just making you way faster. And then with the fire rate being so incredibly fast, you are flying through your ammo as well. So I tossed in the Finnick Mag 45, increasing that mag capacity, making it to where you aren't reloading after every single kill. And then for the last attachment, mixing in perfectly with the stock and the laser, you have the Finnick Rubber Grip for our rear grip, giving you even more sprint to fire speed and ADS speed. Like I said, you want to be as fast as humanly possible. And this is just another attachment adding on to that. For the tuning on the FSS Shark Fin 90, I tuned it for recoil stabilization and aim walking speed. For the Loctite stock, I tuned it for ADS speed and aim walking speed again. And for the last attachment for the Finnick Rubber Grip on our rear grip, I tuned it for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, just speeding you up even more. But overall, that is my full build for the Finnick 45 SMG in Warzone 2 Season 1 Reloaded. Like I said, I just wanted to drop another updated list going into the Season 2 weapon balancing update. And this is by far still the best SMG in the entire game. It is completely unmatched in every single category you could imagine with the damage, fire rate, mobility, absolutely everything. So if you guys haven't already, you absolutely need to go through, give the full build, try some of the highest kill game you guys get with it. But like I said, that is gun number one on the list. So let's hop directly into gun number two. Gun number two is actually a gun I dropped a video on super recently. We have the Lockman Sub SMG, aka the MP5, which in my opinion is super slept on as well. I know a lot of people understand how good this thing is, but not a lot of people talk about it. The damage it has in this gun is absolutely unbelievable. And I actually think stats wise, it's better than the Finnick damage wise. But let's hop directly into the build real quick. For the barrel, I tossed in the L38 Falcon 226 barrel, giving you even more movement speed and ADS speed, mixing in perfectly with the rest of the build. Because like I said, the damage it already has is super good, especially up close. So you don't really need a damage or bolt velocity barrel. But this movement speed and mobility is super good for the build. For the under barrel, I'm going with the FSS Shark Fin 90, just like the Finnick, giving you even more aiming auto stability, just giving you that little extra bit of accuracy. For the mag size, this is all personal preference. You can run the 1540 or even the 50, or you could even keep it stock at, I think, the 20 or 30. But for me, I like the 40 round mag because it's the perfect amount of ammo to where you don't have to reload after every single kill, but you still hold on to some mobility compared to the 50 round drum. For the rear grip, I have the LM Cronus grip, giving you even more flinch resistance, making you an absolute beam because like I said, the MP5 has great damage, especially up close, but it's also super good at range if you need it to be. And this lets you beam people even if they're beaming you. And then for the last attachment, same thing as the Finnick, like I told you guys, you want to be as fast as humanly possible in every possible way. And this is mixing in perfectly with the barrel, giving you even more ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, aiming stability. Like I said, making you way faster and more accurate. For the barrel, I have it tuned for recoil steadiness and damage range. For the rear grip, I tuned it for recoil steadiness again. Like I said, it's super good at range and this helps out a lot. And I also have the bottom bar for sprint to fire speed. And for the last attachment, I have it tuned for recoil stabilization and aim walking speed. But overall, there's my full MP5 loadout, aka the Lockman sub in Warzone 2 Season 1 Reloaded. Like I said, as of right now, going into the Season 2 update, this is my SMG number two. And I have been absolutely loving this thing. The damage it does, the mobility, everything is right on par with the Finnick. And it's a very competitive number one and two. I'm super interested to see if this takes over that number one spot once the Finnick probably does get nerfed. But like I said, man, that's my loadout number two. So if you guys haven't already, you need to go through, give the full build a try, tell me the highest skill game you guys get with this one. Stop directly into loading number three. Loading number three is another SMG that every single person in my comments absolutely loves. I have the Vaznev 9K, which is super good in every possible way, just like the Finnick and MP5. It is good in every single category with range, mobility, damage, ADS speed, like everything you can think of with a gun, the Vaznev does well. You know what I'm saying? So I'm directly into the build for the muzzle. I have the X10 RR40 suppressor, giving you sound suppression, 
bolt velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness, helping out the Vazdam 9K in every possible way, just making it way more useful. And this kind of makes it to where you can use it as like a mini assault rifle if you want to. Same thing as the last two SMGs. I have a really good laser on there. I have the FSS OLEV laser, giving you everything you need to be way faster with the ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. Like I've said over and over, it just makes you way faster in every possible way and a little bit more accurate as well. For the stock, I have the Markeev R7 stock, giving you even more crouch movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint speed, mixing in perfectly with the laser. Same mindset that I have with every single SMG. I want to be as fast as humanly possible. So I toss in the Markeev R7 stock just to speed you up even more. For the mag size, this is very self-explanatory. You just need to have enough ammo to where you aren't reloading after every single kill. And with the 45 round mag, you can wipe an entire team if you need to. And for the last attachment, I have the True Tag Grip for our rear grip, giving you even more sprint to fire speed and ADS speed, mixing in perfectly with the stock and the laser, just speeding you up even more. For the tuning on the muzzle, I have it tuned for ADS speed and bolt velocity. For the stock, I have it tuned for ADS speed and aim walking speed. And for the rear grip, I have it tuned for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed again. But overall, that is my full build for the Vazdam 9K in the current meta for Warzone 2. I'm telling you guys, another fantastic option at that secondary spot and in the SMG category. And it is right there competing with the MP5 and the Finnick and could very well be that number one spot after the weapon balancing update. So if you guys haven't already used the Vazdam for yourselves, you absolutely need to. I'm telling you guys, you're really missing out. Like I said, that is my loading number three. So without further ado, let's hop directly to loading number four. Loading number four is another gun I recently dropped a video on and it was very highly requested by all of you guys in my comments, my shorts, everything. It is the MP7, aka the Vel 46, a very nostalgic weapon that's been good over years of Call of Duty, but in Warzone, I'm pretty sure it got buffed and the damage on it is unbelievable. So I'm directly into the build for the underbarrel. I have the phase three grip, which feels absolutely incredible. It gives you aiming out of stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. Overall, just making you way more accurate in a few different ways. For the laser, just like the Finnick and just like the MP5, I have the VLK LZR 7MW laser, giving you even more ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. For the stock, I have the Demo RXT stock, giving you even more ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and crouch movement speed. Pretty much the exact same pros and cons like the stocks I have in the Vaznev and the Finnick, just making you way faster and mixing in perfectly with a few of the other attachments. For the mag, I definitely went with the 50 round mag, same exact mindset that I have with the MP5. You could go 30 or even the stock if you want to, but I went with the 50 because it is a perfect amount of ammo and I still have mobility compared to the 60 round mag. And for the last hatch, I have the soldier grip for our rear grip, giving you even more ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. Just like the last few SMGs, this mix is in absolutely perfectly with the laser and the stock, making you way faster on the map. For the tuning on the underbarrel, I tuned it for recoil stabilization and aim walking speed. For the stock, I have it tuned for ADS speed and aim walking speed again. And for the rear grip, I have it tuned for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. But overall, that is my full build for the MP7, aka the Vel 46 in Warzone 2 Season 1 Reloaded. I feel like all the SMGs are very close to each other. I feel like the Finnick is the only one that really has the upper hand on the others, but the Vel is another very good SMG option. So if you guys haven't already tried it for yourselves, you absolutely need to go through, give the full build, try to tell them the highest kill game you guys get with it. But like I said, that's my load number four. So let's hop directly into our last and final loadout. Loadout number five. The last and final weapon on the list is the Minibok SMG, aka the PP Bison from past Call of Duties. Another very good option with great mag size, great mobility, and great damage. So I'm directly into the build for the muzzle. I have the X10 RR40 with the exact same pros and cons as it has on the Vazdev 9K. And then I have the 279mm barrel, giving you even more damage range, bolt velocity, and hip fire accuracy. Just making you hit way harder, getting you closer to hit scan, and making you more accurate from the hip. And then, like I said, just like the Vazdev 9K on the muzzle, I also have the Markeep R7 stock as well, giving you the exact same crouch wound speed, ADS speed, and sprint speed, just making you way faster on the map. For the rear grip, I went with the True Tack grip again, giving you even more ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. Like I said, with these SMGs, you want to be super fast, and this is a perfect attachment for that. And of course, for the last attachment, you can't forget the laser. I have the FSS OLEV laser, giving you all that you need with the ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. Like I've said over and over, this is just here to make you way faster and more accurate. And then for the tuning on the muzzle, I have it tuned for ADS speed and bolt velocity. For the barrel, I have it tuned for recoil steadiness and damage range. For the stock, I have it tuned for ADS speed and aim walking speed. And for the rear grip, I have it tuned for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. But overall, that is my full build for the Minibok SMG in Warzone 2 Season 1 Reloaded. And that also caps off my SMG list for the current meta going into the Season 2 update that we're getting on February 15th. So like I said, that's my last loadout. So of course, if you guys haven't already, go through, give every single loadout I just gave you guys a try. Also, tell me down in the comments below if they help you guys out at all. And if they do, hit that big red subscribe button. Also, drop another updated list on my top five ARs, my top five loadouts in general, my top five SMGs, absolutely everything once we find out what we're getting with the Season 2 update. So stay tuned for that as well. But that's it for the video.